Hello YouTube, I'm back with another series on image hacking. I've gotten a better mic, so now um, I can do much more thorough, clear, and coherent tutorials for you, my fans. So let's get started. We're going to go over EXIF tool today. What is EXIF data? What is EXIF tool? EXIF stands for Exchangeable File Image Format and it's set by digital cameras that identify image formats and audio files um, and ancillary tags used by digital cameras, scanners, and other systems handling image and sound files also recorded by cameras. Um, EXIF tool exploits this and whenever it does exploit it, it can give the geographical location of an image. Now that is hypothetically if one of the users were to click on or if they were to like have their location services on this is what they would do it also has a GUI or a GUI which means it basically is a um, picture format a CLI like uh, like this here This is what the GUI version would look like. And this is what the CLI version would look like. So you can see a, um, a big difference. It's not a very good picture, but you get the point. So yeah, um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is um, install uh, EXIF tool from uh, Phil Harvey's website, who is the software developer of this um, tool kit. Um, we're going to just learn how to get it set up real quick and download it from his website. So I'm just going to click install here and uh, click print install. Alright, so now it's installed. We'll just show the contents in the folder. And uh, the next thing we'll need to do is we need to extract this. Once we've extracted it, it should show up. If you type in EXIF or EXIF tool, you go to the folder here. And um, after that, you can uh, double click this to read the application document. Right here, it'll give you instructions on how to do everything. Um, click enter for more, and it'll just it'll tell you all about it. Um, but yeah, next thing you need to do is you need to uh, rename exit tool uh, right here to exit tool.exe. After you renamed it to exe, you could just copy this. You don't actually need to do EXE. You can just type in EXIF tool and rename it. You'll need to navigate to your local disk, C, Windows, and then paste it in Windows. It'll ask for elevation or administration. So just click continue. Should paste in here. And that's all you need to do for the file. Next thing you need to do is open up command prompt. You can do that by typing in control R and then typing in CMD. We'll open CMD and then you can type in EXIF tool and then if you have a picture on your computer or if you download a picture off the internet you can just go to pictures and I have this downloaded picture um, I have this downloaded picture right here just copy the directory it's a uh, so, um, yeah, all you have to do from here is just type in EXIF tool, and yeah, it'll show you all the stuff like help options and stuff like that. But you can also open up EXIF tool by having a CMD in the run box with the Windows key and um, R at the same time. Type in EXIF tool, and then give a directory for a picture you have. Like, I have a picture located in here. I have a wolf.jpg file. 
It's located in my C drive, so I just type in C slash wolf.jpg and it'll give me the contents for the picture. Alright, now I'm going to boot up into Linux. We're going to um, find GPS metadata and track down one of my pictures geographically. Um, yeah, I have this picture right here I took with location services on. I'm just going to uh, save this image. Um, I guess like neighborhood. That's my neighborhood, by the way. Um, yeah, so it installed. And um, I guess we can just type in exif tool. At, you know, this is after, of course, we um, navigated to our downloads directory whenever you type in L ls to show the contents. And then we can just type in cd downloads to navigate to our downloads directory. And then type in exif tool neighborhood.jpg and it shows the contents. Um, we can also use exif to show the contents as well by typing in exif neighborhood.jpg shows the contents there. Alright, so um, now I'm going to show you the Windows version again of uh, exif tool except now I'm going to show you the GUI version, the graphical version. Um, it's actually really, really simple and intuitive to use um, because now we have uh, a graphical version. I already downloaded it, but if you desire to download it, I'll give you the, um, the uh, link in the description. It's in this website right here. Um, yeah. So yeah, we have, we, it's on GitHub. Um, you can download it from here on the assets. The zip DMG is for the Mac version if you have a Mac. Um, so yeah, once you downloaded it and just click on this, you can, I opened it through WinZip. I have my picture right here and it can give me all of this exif data. And if you desire to open up an image, you can just go to your pictures folder, choose an image you want to open up. Um, I'll choose the neighborhood image again, neighborhood.jpg. Or like, uh, we can choose another one like my computer.png. It'll give me all of this information here about the image contents. So yeah, um, this part is the last part, but it's a little digression from our other stuff. But if you were to go to um, view page source, and then you were to go down to um, the image parts here, you can actually see image data on a, a website. Um, we've already gone over this in our HTML tutorial images and stuff, but if you're interested on in knowing like website um, image data, then it would be in the, the uh, page source. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching YouTube, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, don't tell what you know.